About six months into the pandemic, it seemed like our day-to-day -day life had changed entirely. Summer vacations were canceled, family reunions put on hold, weddings postponed. Even churches were empty. We found ourselves in a world where all the rules had changed, where the ground had shifted under our feet. Though many of us were working, attending school and church from the safety of our own homes, somehow we still felt displaced, anxious, uncertain. But what if God is at work in the midst of our feelings? What if God is reminding us that our true home is not an address and the church is not a building? As followers of Jesus, we're called to be a holy temple and a dwelling place for God. The church is us. It's you, it's me. We are the church. We are chapels on our street. And so this past year, we put our trust in God and kept doing what he has called us to do all along, to be a place to experience grace, grow in faith, and make an impact. As a church family, we found new ways to worship God together. We stayed committed to regular prayer. Welcome to day 22 of our 22 days of prayer initiative. Welcome to another Friday morning prayer here at Chapel Street Church. Our ministries came up with creative ways that we could still gather. Alternative VBS, car boxes for Adventure Club, and virtual small groups. Welcome back to Wednesday Night Live! We had Wednesday Night Live to connect to each other and stay rooted in God's Word. Responding to the needs of the community, we opened a new Shepherd's Heart Care Center, serving about 1,400 people every month. And we were able to do so completely debt-free. <laughs> we are launching a fourth campus in North Aurora this fall, also debt-free. We had a goal to raise $200,000 for Naomi's House, a program that brings hope and healing to women who have suffered from commercial sexual exploitation. Everything we do is geared toward how do we restore what was lost in the ugliness and the violence of trafficking. My life has forever been changed because of Naomi's house. Through our generosity as a church community, we didn't just meet this goal. We were able to give them 300,000. So even in the midst of a challenging year, full of uncertainty, we watched God move in incredible ways. Today, let's celebrate how God used his church and continues to use us to welcome people into his family. Our Charges Christ followers has never and will never change, no matter how drastically the world changes around us. Our home is in Him, and He is with us. So to everyone we say, welcome home.